for checking in again. Um, in this one I will show you a way to set up conditional headers with the Cadence team, a really easy way. You have to have the Cadence Pro version, the Cadence Pro team, to be able to do this. There are different ways to go about this. We could also do this with the Cadence Elements, where you can replace headers on specific pages or specific uh, archives, for example. But if you have the Cadence Pro team, you don't actually have to use the Cadence Elements. You can also do this from within the customizer. Yeah? First thing we have to do is go to Appearance, Cadence scroll down and you have to make sure this is enabled like the conditional headers should be enabled if we have that done we can go to the page and we can go to our customizer and the thing we're going to do we are going to create this is my home page here with the default standard header and we're going to change the header the look of it if i click on cat1 i want an other another uh, header so this is going to be the one that i want to change yeah? so if you now go to header you will see if i scroll you see here pre previewing header is now a new item coming up and then if i go to the bottom i can go to conditional and i can say i want to add a new header we can say i want to start basic i want to copy a default this is the one that i have now um, so this is just the default header like this and then the other thing we can do let me remove this is import it if you have a, a created one on another site you can import it here so you have easy access to your beautiful designs just uh, export them and then you can import them again here so the other thing we can do is start with the basic one so we're going to do this one extra header one we're going to enable this so now we have enabled one conditional header already and then we we'll check this one preview extra header one confirm and save then you will reload the page and from now on everything we change now inside of here is going to change our extra header and not our default header so that's the only thing that's a little bit not unclear maybe because it looks exactly the same so now we are actually editing this header yeah if this is left on default everything you change even if this is enabled everything you change will still be the default header that you're changing so make sure you have this one enabled these are the most important settings here because we have to set where we want this uh, header to be displayed we can say for example in my case i want to go to my category archives and i want to select individually my cat one this is the only page for example i would want my new header to be on and i want it to be visible to all users and this is the only thing i want here we click on publish and then we can set it up so it's looking different so for example it could be if i go to my cat one i might want to have a search bar so i can click on the plus and make a search like this so they can search for uh, articles for example by going on this page i might want to remove the logo uh, from there and i might want to add my socials just giving an example all the styling options if you click on this little gear icon you go inside and you can add new socials set the links here and you can also go to design and then use specific uh, settings to make it like this so everything design wise you can find here yeah but the thing we could do for example is make it sticky uh, as well so i want a sticky header only the main row this means only this is the main row this middle row so this is the only one i have now so this is uh, this can be sticky and we're going to let it shrink a little bit to 60 pixels is fine this means if i scroll down you see the height is changing yeah then publish and if i now remove my customizer i go back to my home page you see i have no sticky header and it's my default one with the the logo and then just a menu if i go to my cat one you see i have my new header with my social icons with my also my menu and then my looking uh, my search box and if i scroll down you see it changes its height a little bit and it stays sticky so this is the most easy way i think to set up custom headers if you want to just go to the customizer go to headers enable the conditional one and then make sure the preview mode is on on the right header and then from then on everything you change will be applying to the new header yeah
If you want to have more specific instructions on how to style a header and what you can do, uh, you can always let me know in the comments, then I will be happy to make you a video. Uh, but for now, you already have the tools to make as much custom headers for whatever pages you want to. Okay, have a go with it, have fun, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.